Hello everybody, this is Vanessa with Vans Fan and Travels. I thought I better come here and do a little update for you. You think I got lost again. Um, I'm out here, I live way out in the country. I mean, way out in the, in the Hoosier National Forest and the internet. I have excellent strength that like for a, um, watching Roku on TV, my phone's okay. But every time we have a storm, it seems like the lightning strikes a uh, tower. So I didn't have internet for like a couple of days. And when I'm doing a video or uploading a video, it takes sometimes 12 hours to get it uploaded. And I'm trying to get these blankets made so I can leave. I, I don't even know if I'm going to have them all finished. I'm, I'm doing real good. I think um, in the last, let's see, I've been home now about six weeks and I think I've made, um, eight blankets so far so I'm trying to step up my but some of those were a little harder to make than what I'm doing now but it's very time consuming and when you're uploading a video anybody that does YouTube videos can tell you it's it can be very time consuming especially with the internet going in and out like it does here so I'll I'll come back and update you um, I was going to in a week but I couldn't because I, I didn't have a I didn't have any a signal. I'm happy I had power. That's one good thing about the solar on my van. If if the power goes out, all I gotta do is just stay in the van. Um, the caravan is looking good, and we have another lady added in. I think, and um, I I think we have a total of five people. And if you want to, uh, if anybody else wants to join, just go ahead and, and e email me. It'll be okay. Um, my Amish people are going by. I don't know if I can get, there they go. They have meetings somewhere on um, certain Sundays, and sometimes there'll be like 15 or 20 little carts going down the road up. Bobo hates them. <laughs> Bobo would love to get a hold of them. I don't know why he doesn't like them. I go to their house to buy produce all the time because I'm not going to have a garden. And so I have to leave him in the car and he just, when he sees them, he just goes nuts. I don't know what it is about them that he thinks is different, but he's funny. Um... I'm leaving tomorrow to go back to my doctor. I've waited a long time to tell you this. I'll go ahead and, and just give you the highlights of it. You know how long I complained about my knee. It was just, I was in severe pain. Every doctor I went to said I would have to have knee replacement, but I could put it off as long as I wanted to. So, you know, I'm just thinking that's what I'll have to do this time because I could hear it rattling and cracking and it was just the worst pain ever. And um, when I came home to my doctor, and he's a good family friend too, but he's he's in the top 30 in the world. I, I can show you the picture of it, top 30 of the world. He's, he's amazing. And he just will not put a knife on you. It, he never has me, and he's fixed my lower back. I had a torn rotator cuff. He fixed it. And now my knee without surgery and what he uses is pure PRP, which is a, is stem cell injections. But he takes it from your own body and he draws blood from you and then puts it in this little machine and it, it changes colors. It's like a clear orange yellow looking color. And then he injects it back into you. And it just amazes me, but I am totally pain free in my knee. And I talked to him last time I was up there and I asked him about doing a, a video and he said he'd love to do a video with me. And I'm, I'm kind of, I, I love him and I want to do it, but um, I know that's going to be time consuming too. So if I do, well, I'm going to wait in the comments. If there's enough of you that want me to do one with him and you'll have to, send me your questions in the comments will be fine because I, I go through my comments that's another story i need to elaborate on i guess um if i remember it by the end of this video um if there's enough of you because i know my my audience are 90 i think 98 percent 
senior citizens, so I'm sure you've had trouble with your knees at one time or another. If not, you got trouble with something else, more than likely. So if you if you are interested and I get enough people, I don't want to waste his time or mine either. If I have enough people to say they they would like to ask him questions, we'll definitely do that because he, he's all ready for it because he, he loves helping people. I mean, I've, I've known him for 20 plus years, around 25 years, I guess. I've been very close with him and he's out of Chicago. He's a... Uh, he has more degrees than anybody I've ever known. He He's a, um, what do you call it, anesthesiologist, um, surgeon. He I mean, he anything he wants to learn or he ha thinks pe his patients are having a problem with, he used to just go back to school and, and get a degree on it. I've watched him do this through the years, and it, it just amazes me. But the torn rotator cuff I had, I mean, it... I just, I had to hold my arm when I walked. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't even go to sleep. I mean, it was when it tore, but I didn't know that's what it was until he did an MRI. And the MRI was the worst pain that I went through the whole process. That was the worst. But we did three injections of PRP, and and you it's like one injection every month. And the first one took all the pain away. It, it was like a little sore, but you're going to get sore if you do it because it, it hurts healing, but it's a different kind of pain, but it's, it's not a pain that you can't handle. It's just more like a, well, you know, when you have a, a cut or something and it's healing up, it's that kind of pain. And the second one, I was 100% pain free, but he does a third one to boost it. The only problem is insurance doesn't cover it which is just so stupid to me because we don't need all the chemicals, uh, all the drugs that they want to put in us, but that that's what they want us to do. That's for sure. But, um, and the shots are, they're kind of expensive, but they're not as expensive as when I think about the pain I was going through and what I spent to get out of it. It's nothing I'd, I'd give. And it's not really that bad, but I'm not going to, talk about the money part of it, I'll let him answer that. So if, if you're interested, um, you'll never hear me complain about my knee again, that's for sure. I, I, I He made a believer out of me this time, for sure. <laughs> he should have already done it with my shoulder, but I was, I, I, the doctor in uh, Phoenix told me if I had surgery on my knee, unless I had people at home waiting on me to uh, 24 7 i'd be in a wheelchair and i'd probably have to go into rehab in a nursing home for 30 days to heal up and i didn't care if that's what i had to do that, that didn't bother me but with the covid i couldn't get you know i couldn't get in to get the surgery thank god and now i've, I've got it all healed up anyway um the other thing is google has just they really done me dirty i'm not going to go into the details on that but Last week, I, I mean, I've got, I can track this back almost a year, but with the comments, you know, I answer comments, you know, I go through all the comments and answer them. And after I was so disgusted with them about a lot of things, and I will tell you later, I'm just short on time right now. Um, uh, I had like, I don't know, a hundred and something comments to pop up from nine months ago, just popped in all at once. On, and if you do videos, you know what YouTube Studio is. That's where they came in at. And I thought, how did this happen? Am I crazy? I missed my comments, but I got to looking down and I saw it wasn't me. It was them. They all came in all together. So, you know, I can't help what they do. And I've wanted to give up a few times, but I'm not going to do that completely because I've... I've I do my videos to share with others. I do not do it for money. I do not. I, I appreciate the gifts that you've given me and the nice things you've done. It's very much appreciated. And it was very needed when I got it. But I don't care if I'm ever... I am monetized now, but that I'll explain that. I'll probably do a Google uh, video and I'll probably be kicked off when I do it. But I don't care about that either. I'll, I'll tell you anyway if you want to hear it. But 
I want I gotta go for now. I'm, I'm meeting my son for lunch later, and I think I'm gonna have to go put some clothes on. It's actually cold this morning and rainy in Indiana. And um, I love you guys. I haven't forgotten you. I'm just trying to get these blankets made so I can leave. Uh, it looks like um, it's going to be closer to the middle instead of the end of September, if that's okay with everybody with the caravan when we leave. So that's it for today. I love you. I hope you have a, a great day, a great weekend. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.